Of course, my wife just asked me a question. Hang on one second. So I guess I need to get one of those uh, studio uh, live signs. Let me close this window here. A little bright. That's better. And you don't really care to look at me anyway. You want to look at the screen. So we talked a little bit about yesterday about uh, extra options. And so what's happened on this one, um, I had sold uh, what's called a covered call. I can sell options and if you don't know what a covered call is, they, you have to have 100 shares to be covered. I mean, there's other ways to do it, but this is kind of like the simplest terms, like terms. Like if you had 100 shares of Lumen, which is a telecom company, you can see, um, and they kind of go up and down actually over the years. I mean, if you pull back to like a, you know, 20 year history, and we'll, sorry. Stupid reminder to do this video. So there's a pullback uh, monthly. Let's see, just go. Is there a yearly? Yes, thank you. God, I hate phones sometimes. I really do. Okay, well, there's monthly. I mean, you can kind of see the range there. And uh, we can go back and scroll down here. Anyway, trying to look. Oh, I'm sorry, I don't use this chart that much. Why can't I pull up a yearly chart? for a 20 year stock. Grr. Okay, I don't know why I can't, I guess I can't even scroll left and right. Okay, whatever. Um, but you can see kind of what it's done. It's come up and down and all around and it pays a good dividend. Well, let's look at that. Uh, other trades I did. We're looking at Lumen. Um, I kind of like it because it pays a decent amount. Uh, so here's all of them. Uh, they're paying $25 a quarter. So they're paying a hundred dollars a year. So yeah, March and June. So the next one's going to be in September. So they're paying a hundred dollars a year. It's a pretty high dividend that could scare you off. That's a whole other thing. But I've been trading in and out of options, and then I got assigned to these options. Basically, I I was selling them here at whatever fifteen price. So then I had to buy it at fifteen. There's our total outlay, a thousand dollars. So right now for 100 shares, I paid $1,000, which is about $10 a share. Well, guess what? It's at 11.32, so I'm up. And part of that is because of the, I cannot click today. Part of that is because of the dividends that came through. But even if you took the $50 out, I think I would be pretty close. That'd be 10.88, if my math is right, plus $20, so 1,100. So we're pretty close to being even. And then I have a, you know, dividends coming in. So what happened, now that we've been assigned this, uh, you can see I sold a call here, a 36 call there, and a 10 uh, call there, which means people can buy that stock back for what I paid for it, $15. So I would get my money back. So then it would really be good. So what has happened is, you see at the top line there, that has expired, which means the time available for someone else to use it uh, it's it's not it's not any good anymore. Options sell for times, like they expire at a certain time. Up until that time, you can do what you want with it. That's kind of how options work. It's, European options only matter on the day, as I understand it. These aren't European options; these are American options. I don't deal in European options anyway. So you have up until the day, uh, you know, of expiration to decide what you want to do with it. Buy it back sell it because it's up and it's increasing value whatever you want to do so right now we have this uh you know unencumbered lumen hundred shares i can sell an option for it i can come out here and say hey who wants to give me 15 bucks for this all right it's going to cost you for that privilege and so the person on the other side of the trade because this is a fair market on the other side of the trade is like huh 15 bucks you could that stock really go to 15 bucks how likely is that so in 81 days, could it go to really 15 bucks? And then you look there at that 15 number in the middle, somebody's bidding nine cents. So they're not very confident. And if you look further on the left, that says 94%. This is uh, what's called a standard deviation move, that little blue, first dotted blue line. Uh, you know, once you kind of pass that line, you know, then it's kind of like, eh, just give me some money. So what we could do is because our effective cost on it is really only that uh, ten thousand and sixty dollars so if, let's call it eleven dollars let's call it eleven $1 hundred dollars is what we spent 
on uh, the hundred shares so it's a let's say we only have eleven dollars per share in so I could easily sell it today at eleven dollars and make money or I could say you know I don't really mind owning this stock per se which I'm kinda maybe I'll sell it maybe I want won't um, so earnings are coming out I expect them to do reasonably well because they've been laying a lot of fiber in and etc cetera, etc cetera. so we could come down here to the 39 day and look at let's see oh wow the 1150 or the 12 and say alright if you want to buy this stock uh, after earnings August 2nd um, that's fine with me I think we'll do that and if you'll give me twelve and a half twelve dollars um, let's see actually this would be twenty five dollars if we waited till the dividend sometime fairly high amount of volatility I'm thinking should I wait to sell this stock possibly until that dividend is captured uh, I don't have an ex dividend date let me look at this other window this is a consideration for stocks that have a dividend uh, lumen ex div in other words you have to own the stock on that day or the day before the ex dividend day to uh, get that 527 I don't know if they've declared let's call it August 27th so I feel okay selling the September so if I sell the September that means I could probably get the 25 cents e then then you're like okay see that difference between 63 and 33 there and the green numbers in the middle so somebody would give me 63 cents a share or 33 cents a share so it's a 30 cent difference like ooh, do I want to capture the 25 cent dividend or I did or I just want to like sell this and get the capital back because this takes a fair amount of capital to hold I don't know man see this, this is one of the decisions and it's just personal preference but let's go um, we'll do let's do the $12 so what I'm doing by selecting this I'm selling someone the right to buy that stock for $12 so it's only got to go it's got to go up by like a dollar twenty something for them to make money it doesn't need to go to $12 it needs to go to $12 and 63 cents because that is what that's what somebody's gonna end up shelling out so it has to go above that for them to be in the money on their cost basis because they're gonna pay me 63 cents so if it goes to 12 that doesn't help them it's got to go to twelve dollars and sixty three cents of course someone could have bought this a long time ago and they got it cheaper but whatever so I'll I'm thinking I'm gonna take the sixty three cents in September and actually yeah so I should also capture probably the dividend in August because the last ex dividend date was 527 so if it's every three months every quarter that'd be 827 let's call it and this dividend expires in September so pretty good amount beyond that I feel safe that if I still own the stock at this point uh, you know the and nobody's exercised this option uh, I'll get the dividend and the $61. Man, it's gone down. So <laughs> let's go ahead and do this. Uh, <laughs> so I'm gonna I'm gonna call I'm gonna do what's called penny it down. Oh, it's going back up. Okay, sweet. Uh, so now the mid price is down to 63. So let's go 64. Try that. Uh, I'm gonna have some fees and then go in. Okay, so that didn't work. Didn't expect it to. And we're gonna do what's called pinning it down. There you go. Filled. So I just clicked it down one penny at a time until it was filled. So see, there you go. We come back here and we hit refresh. Uh, okay, it's not in there for some reason. Where did that go? Lumen fill 63 cents. So I brought in a 63 cent credit on the 12 call. Why is it not in here? Uh, because this is not the correct date okay well let's change that to today then uh, see okay there you go see now my effective outlay is only nine hundred and seventy five dollars because we were just brought in that sixty three dollars so then uh, I'm definitely I'm, I'm it's okay 
I mean, we started doing this in November, so we're about a year and a half in. So I'm up a hundred and some, up about what two hundred dollars almost at this point. And then by the time it sells, if it sells at twelve, I only paid nine dollars and seventy-five cents. So if it sells at twelve, then that's two dollars and twenty-five cents. It's not a bad return on your investment. But if we look, see where it says capital requirement five hundred and sixty-three dollars and fifty cents. That's the amount of cash that it costs, or the amount of buying power it costs me to hold that stock. Generally with Tastyworks, you need about 50% of the money to buy that stock, to control that stock. You own it, but you might be borrowing half the money, kind of. It's just it's kind of how it works. That, another video on that, um, but that's what's called leverage. You're like, well, I don't have the money to buy this stock for $11.34, but I have half of it, and they're like, okay, that seems like a reasonable risk. You only have to have half of it. Uh, and that's to own it. You know, if you're doing options and stuff, like if you thought, eh, let me see, I need 500 and something dollars of buying power to own the stock, but I really don't have that much. So let me do some sort of stupid little thing here and I'll make a promise to someone to sell it for nine. I'll, I'll buy it if it goes to $9.50. If it drops like by $2 in the next 39 days, I'll, 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 I'll do that. I'll buy it. So you could go down here and sell that you know, and get uh, 19 cents per share, $19. You could get $19 for that option, but they're only requiring you buying power effective on the right-hand side, $231. So to sell that option, that promise to someone to pay $9.50, and there's ways to get out of that. There's ways to get out of that. You don't have, and it's not, that's ne not necessarily going to happen. That's a different video. You could say, all right, I've got $231, and they're like, well, we don't see that it's going to go down that far and that you're going to have to buy that stock probably. Like if you look on the right, it says 78% right by the S1. It's like, eh, it's 78% it's likely that you're that's not going to happen. So we'll take your $231 earnest money and that's good enough. And then worst case, if you did have to buy the stock, well, then you could have to pony up $300 more, but then you'd own the stock. And then you get the dividends, and then you can sell these covered calls, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I know a lot of this seems complicated, but the way these options work, this is really terribly simple. You just, you just need to learn like one little piece at a time, and kind of how things work. It's like anything else that you've you've ever learned. Uh, it's just one little tiny bit at a time, you know. I mean, I know people that don't even buy stock. You know, like okay, well, fine. I'm gonna give you this you know, two more things before we go. Actually, before we go, let me, uh, hang on one second. My wife's been standing here while I'm doing this. It must be terribly, terribly important. Yes, I'm aware, and it's 18 minutes to get there, so I've already checked. Thank you. Yes, reminding me I did this appointment. So, uh, let's see. Yeah, I've got to leave here in about 10 minutes, so I was making this, uh, quick. Where was I? Let me go ahead and paste these if I can let me find my window over here where I have an offer from Webull and they're giving out uh, eight stocks or er, I think it's eight right now I believe you have to put in some money and I don't know how much there's the window we're looking for so this is probably a broker that you could stay with for a while and then Tastyworks, which is the software that I'm using. Uh, let me go ahead and post that in. They will give you 100 shares of something. It's typically worth about $140 bonus when you put in $2,000, which might seem like a lot, but you could take like a credit card advance, you know, for 4% and open this account and not even do anything with it. Just don't do anything with it or maybe buy just like a few shares of stock and then you're going to get your $130 bonus. So that's like 6 or 7%. So you, you're basically, I'm going to give the credit card company 4%, but I'm going to get 6 or 7%. So I'm going to make money right there. You can let it sit for a year or whatever, or give it back the next, you know, whatever you want to do uh, to give that money back. And remember that does give you, uh, that would give you $4,000 of buying power. My cat's here. All right. Well, guys, I better get going. Uh, this is going to end up on YouTube later. looks like uh, something got deleted. I used to have my YouTube channel there. Uh, I don't know why that went away. Uh,
let's see. Okay. Alright. I don't know why that one went away. But my here, here it is. I'll just type it in. Because I have more videos on here. And generally these I uh, just get... I just download them and copy them over. So there's my YouTube channel. Uh, it is youtube.com RC Bullock. Like RC. And then Bullock like Sandra. Romeo Charlie Bullock. B U L L. Lisa K. Okay. Gotta go. Gotta go get my teeth cleaned. What a blast. So, anyway, talk to you guys later. Hope this helps. Hit the like and subscribe. Really, really important. Um, watch my videos. Pick a random YouTube video to like and subscribe. Really help me out. And I'm kind of really here to help you out. I'll, I'll be honest. I want to get some free uh, stock referrals here. And, uh, you know, but it's like, hey, you scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. You'll probably get more out of this than I will. Thanks for watching. See you guys later.